in this week's episode of Back to Basics with Evernote. We're going to look at the web clipper. Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Back to Basics with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in today's episode I want to show you all the things you can do with the Evernote Web Clipper. Now one of the key features of Evernote is that you need to be able to quickly and easily get your notes and reference materials straight in to Evernote and if you're researching on the internet then the quickest way is to use Evernote's Web Clipper. Now Web Clipper is available for Chrome and Safari and I believe also Firefox and whatever Microsoft is doing today because I cannot remember what it's called. But essentially what it is used for is for you to be able to send your research materials from the web directly to Evernote and it is one of the fastest ways to get stuff into Evernote from straight from the internet. Now on your mobile device this is slightly different and on your mobile device you would use your share sheet and you may need to set that up but essentially for when you're using the web from a computer and using a browser such as Chrome or Safari, then the web clipper is the best way to do it. Now, the only way I'm going to show you this, obviously, is to go into my computer and Safari, because I use Safari, but it doesn't matter whether you're using Safari or Chrome, they both work in exactly the same way, so there's no problem there. So let's go into Evernote now and have a look. Before I do that, though, don't forget, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel. OK, let's get straight into Evernote now and have a look at the web clipper. Right, here we are in one of my favorite websites. And this site is uh, Flipboard. I, I love actually to what, read Flipboard from my laptop or my desktop. I do occasionally do use it on my mobile devices, but generally I use Flipboard on my computer. This way I can filter out all the news about Donald Trump, which gets incredibly boring because there's a load of people either who hate him or they love him, but either way, it's just really boring to me. So obviously most of you guys who watch my shows, uh, you know that I love all things about productivity. So I do have my productivity board here on Flipboard. And basically all it is is stories about productivity, time management and self-improvement. And I call this my productivity board and I collect loads of stories in here. Now this is where I, is my go-to when I have time to read the news. Uh, which isn't always often. And it's also where if I find an interesting story, I will share it out on Twitter. Um, so <coughs> let's look at an article here. We've got 10 guidelines from history's most radically successful people and more. So I'll click on that and I open up the article and I think, oh yes, this is a really good article because there's a lot of stuff in here that I would probably like to uh, reference for a later episode either on this channel or indeed my blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here where I have my uh, Evan, uh, Evernote web clipper. So it says here clip to Evernote. Click on that and I get this little dialog bo box up here and it seems that uh, my article has shifted. No it isn't, it's there. So I've got this little article in. It's gonna it gives me the option to have the whole article, a simplified article, the full page bookmark or screenshot. So at the moment I've got it set up for article, um, but I want to change that to my simplified article. The reason I do that is because uh, this is actually giving me the wrong um, <laughs> the wrong article, but it doesn't matter really what article, you can just double check that. What it does is it strips out, when you use the simplified article, it strips out all the advertising and pop-ups and anything else that might be on the website. 
So in here now I've got a very, very simplified article and all I have to do now is click on save and Evernote will do its stuff and it will send it over to my Evernote, which it has now done. So I go over here, obviously it hasn't come in straight away, but now it's coming in, it just, it just basically updated. Now, as you can see, now I've got this article, if I double click on the article, it'll bring it up in its own window. Now I have a very, very simplified way of reading this article. There's no advertising, it's the images are still there. I can zoom in on it like this, which is wonderful because my eyesight isn't as good as it should be. And I can just get on and read the article. Indeed, if I want to use some of the material in here, I can highlight that, I can copy it, and I can paste it into whatever article as a quotation that I want to use. So this is a really cool way of doing your uh, sending stuff to Evernote. So <clears throat> What I would show you is go back into that, click out that one. That one didn't work as well because it wasn't the one I really wanted. Um, but let's go why multitasking is bad for you. And this is in um, on time. So hopefully it will work on this one. So here we got the article, multitasking is bad for you. Again, I'm going to click on my Evernote web clipper. It's going to bring me up the simplified article and sure enough, there it is. Now, by the way, you could actually zoom in on this one too and just read the article directly from the web without all the distractions of the um, all the distractions of the uh, advertising and so on. So, you know, you can actually use Evernote for a uh, web clipper for that sort of thing. Now you've got all sorts of other options like full page. So I can click on that and it'll give me the full page bookmark, which means I could send that directly to Evernote as a bookmark, or I can take a screenshot. So a screenshot means that I can just get a picture of this, or if I just drag down there and I want to get a picture of that, you just click and just move that and say, that's what I want. And it will take a screenshot. And then that screenshot is going to go into and then if you notice here, I can actually start uh, highlighting it. So if I go on here now, I can click on that, annotate it and just do there. I can actually now highlight the parts that I really want to keep. Um, I can add notes. I can do all sorts. I can even um, use my pixelator. To, to pixelate out certain words and phrases. So let's just click pixelate that. It's not a very clear action, but you know what I mean? You can, you can pixelate it, you can zoom in, you can use the arrow, you can use whatever you want to get things done, which is really, really, really cool. And then just click save. That's gonna save into my Evernote. Let's go over here and that should come in as it has. It's just come in now, click on that. And there you go. I've got my pixelated, my very poor pixelation. And I can actually, like the marker pen is clicked out there. And I've got my highlighter there. Really, really good. Now, the only thing is, remember, that is now coming in as an image. So I can't do anything else with it except mark it up as an image. But there you get an idea of what you can do. Um, there are other things I can do. So let's go into here. Where's my Evernote? So we click on that again. And I can take, uh, now, Let's look at this here. So I just go back to simplified article so I don't have that pop up. So what we've got to do is we can organize this here. Now I can send this into any of my notebooks that I want. So if I want to directly send it to my holiday or 2008 um, workbooks, that's perfectly okay. You've got the search dialog box there. I always set it up for inbox because I think inbox is well. I can add a tag if I want to add a tag. And down here you have your options. Now the options give you a lot of possibilities. What I would strongly recommend is don't use these things here. Just use always start in your inbox. Remember, sometimes let's give you an example of how I uh, process my Evernote. I always process my uh, process my Evernote on a weekend. Sometimes I'll do it on a Saturday. Sometimes I'll do it on a Sunday. If I click to this article on Monday, by Saturday or Sunday, I might be feeling, oh, I don't need this article anymore. So I can delete it. If I send it directly into a notebook, that is one of the classic ways of actually getting a load of rubbish stored in Evernote. And once that happens, you stop looking at Evernote. Evernote needs to be the stuff you really, really want to keep.
So you can do even smart filing. Again, I wouldn't recommend that. I don't even put tags in. All I'm interested in is getting it into my inbox. Down here, you've got the general options, last used actions or always starting article. You can change that to always starting simplified full page or bookmark. I start in the article because it's just a good way. After clip, you can change the things here. You can show the successful clip dialogue, just automatically close the clicker, which is actually my preferred way. Um, you've got all sorts of different options here. Show Evernote content uh, related to my web searches and so on and so forth. Once you've changed those, you can actually change your keyboard shortcuts here. So you can, <laughs> you've got various things that you can use. Um, but once I've done all that, I can click done. And now my Evernote web clipper is set up exactly how I want it. Now, just a quick point. I have shown you this in Safari this works in exactly the same way in Chrome so don't worry if you're a Chrome user it works in exactly the same way so the key thing is you've got a lot of options with the web clipper and if you're not using it start using it today you can get the web clipper from just going into here <coughs> Safari extensions and then you can go in there and you can choose the Evernote web clipper I think somewhere down here there is a search so if I click on there Evernote um, click on that and it comes straight up here Evernote Web Clipper and make sure it's the Evernote Corporation one in Safari it obviously is but in Chrome I think there might be a few others that are not actually the real Evernote Web Clipper so make sure that when you actually click on the, your the Web Clipper you're choosing is the correct one it needs to be coming from the Evernote Corporation okay Hopefully this has shown you everything you need about the Evernote Web Clipper. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to contact me uh, and leave a comment in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.